ברוך הוא ברוך הוא. אמרנו רבותיי, בעזרת השם תדעי יש דברי תורה, נענו שמת אבי מורים, אחר מניע בן שפיע, חליף הכל נמוך השם תנחינו בגן עדן, אמן. לפסוק תרזס רבותיי, נסוק פרשה, פרשת ויחי. It says, ויברכם ביום ההוא לאמור, בך יברך ישראל לאמור, ישמחה אלוהים כאפרים וכם נשה. יעקב אבינו, at the end of his life, he sends his, uh, after Yosef, to bring his children, Ephraim and Hashem, to bless them. And Rashi tells us over here that every father, when they, when they will bless their children, they will tell their, ch- their children, Yishimichai Elohim ke Ephraim and Menashe. It should become like Ephraim and Menashe. The question is, why we bless our children specific like these two two children of Yosef. Why don't we say Hashem should make our children like Abraham and Sahab Yaakov, like Abot like Kadoshim? What's so special about that? So there's two, I saw two explanations. One, Peshat Abu Hakamim tell us, unbelievable, if you look at the story of Yosef, how Yosef set up Ephraim and Hashem, and Hashem was the Bechor, and Yosef wanted the Bechor Menashe to be blessed by the right hand of, of Yaakov Avinu. And the small one, it should be by the left hand. And all of a sudden, Yaakov Avinu switched his hand and he blesses with the right hand to Ephraim, to the small one. Now, if you look at the Pasuk, the Pasuk says that Yosef did not like it. He says, ah, what's going on? Maybe my father is making a mistake. So he tried to switch them. But our Hachim tell us, you see, Menashe does not react, even though he's the Bechor. And even though he, he maybe deserves the right hand, the Beracha, the special Beracha from, from the right hand, you see Menashe did not act. And when he saw this, Menashe was happy for his brother. So we tell our children, you, should, you guys should be like a fine Menashe, that Bezat Hashem, all your life, you should be all together. You should be happy. You should be happy for for your, for each other. If one of you if, if one of you is very successful, don't be jealous of him. You should be united. You should be all together. But that that's the Musar has to teach us. But I'm not in Arabim today. We're living in a time that even you have brothers don't talk to each other's family is broken because of these certain things, monetary issues, inheritance, all these things. We learn from. The story over here that we have to stay united, we have to stay always together, mm-hmm. and we should not let all these things interrupt us. That's one peshat. Another peshat, I heard, why are we telling our children to become like a fine minashe? A fine minashe, well, you, we were born in Egypt. Abi about the Tumar. Egypt was known with all the Adl, with all the Abu Dazara and all the Arayot. Still, they were born in an atmosphere of Kedusha. They stayed. Sadiqim like their father. So we tell our children, even when we're in the time of Galut, we're in exile, and we live, it's very hard, to, you know, to stay B'Kedushah Tahara, Be'ezit Hashem should become like a fine Menashe, they should always stay, you should always stay religious and strong, and to become stronger in Awadat Hashem. Be'ezit Hashem, Hashem is the Kenu, to always, to love each other, and to always to say, to stay B'Kedushah Tahara, Amen.